everybody. I was going to say cheers for some reason. Cheers, everybody. <laughs> cheers, everybody. Yeah. All right. Get your <sighs> shit together. Here we go. Hey, hey everybody. everybody. Welcome to another episode of Training C. I'm Training. This is C. <laughs> Sorry. Um, That's my go-to. It is good. It, yeah. It's really good. Um, <laughs> I, I just can tell a really quick story. Sure. I used to be a lifeguard. Okay. And uh, we have the competition pool and there's hand signals for everything. Okay. So yeah. it was always like arm up to get the attention, then like competition pool. Oh. Like, look at the competition pool. Oh, look at the sea. Yeah. Look at sea. Hey, look at sea. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. We have Boulder Spirits sponsored for our December Dram Club and Masterclass, which is amazing. So um, excited. They're putting out amazing products. Uh, I think we need to get that out there in the whiskey world. Yes. Get it out to the community. Share uh, Boulder Spirits because they're doing some great stuff. And today we ha uh, have a guy with a knife <laughs> trying to cut the neck off of a bottle. Oh, it's going to be um, perfect. I think the ball that you have in front of you is the American whiskey. Is that uh, that is correct? Right? Yeah. And he's trying to oh, twist it did, off. It did a kind cork. of work. It did kind of work. He's trying to twist off a cork, but that's fine. No, just the trying to get this. They don't have a little tab to tear through, so it's kind of annoying to get that piece yeah. off. But oh, here we go. Bad review. Here we go. Okay. Great Ooh. pop though. Um, so American whiskey. Uh, what percentile are we dealing with here? Let's see here. We've got it at 46%. That's okay, very cool. Nice, nice. A That's number a three spot. char, uh, 58 gallon white oak barrels, new American. Do a little close up. Let's, uh, let's take a look. For the cam. New American Boulder Spirits. Very nice. Right, so let me have a little gander at the back here and see what they have to say. Okay. It says, uh, Scotsman Alastair Brogan arrived in Boulder, Colorado with little more than a custom copper pot still and a like, like he had like a little <laughs> a bag <laughs> over his shoulder with <laughs> a stick and there's a copper pot. That's what I was Little too. more than a copper pot. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, we mean no disrespect. This is funny. <laughs> no, 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 no. Well, I also picture like yeah. the Bob Dylan story. He's like, oh, he walked across America with his acoustic guitar playing in cafes. And I'd picture right. him like with his just brewing, brew, <laughs> brewing in every cafe. Sorry, we digress. We digress. Uh, copper Bustle and a lifelong passion for distilling. Today, his dream is being realized with the creation of his small batch American single malt whiskey, our artisan distilling techniques include using the finest malted barley, the purest water from, uh, here we go again, Arapaho <laughs> Glacier <laughs> Belt, We're saying it and right New Oak Barrels, the hot summers and high elevation of the Rocky Mountain foothills, mm. Terroir. Mm. Yes imparts flavors that make this award-winning you award-winning whiskey uni uh, whiskey unique uh, to colorado uh, with a scottish accent oh okay cool there we go okay alistair let's good let's, on you <laughs> for hauling that whole fucking pot still across the americans uh, here we so go good. here we go nice nose <laughs> it's so look okay Three bottles into the... Okay, so this is our third review that we've done. Yes. It looks like this month, but we did them in, like, this last hour. Yeah, I don't um, think we changed our shirts. So, either. no. Um, but the thing about it is you can now start to get a little bit of that uh, Boulder Spirits, like, house style on For there. For sure. Right? I, I think, like, all in all, from what we've tasted of them, is they create, like, a very, very well-made spirit like mm -hmm. there's some care and attention going into this stuff sure um it's not a typical bourbon style like no a, a, even the bourbon is not typical yeah everything they're doing is kind of unique to themselves which i think is kind of a hard thing to do these days in the whiskey world like people to create get, something unique to create and, something yeah. unique you get used to like okay this is definitely single malt scotch blah 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 or this is definitely like a you know a buffalo trace or whatever mm -hmm. 
it's hard to kind of be an up and comer and have that happen to people too, but have a positive experience with it. You totally. know, like there's definitely been times where I smell something like, Oh, this is unique, but it's disgusting yeah, in the wrong way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so 46% to me, it's got that almond and, um, like almond extract kind of a nose to it. For sure. Yeah. Even like a little bit of that vanilla extract kind of thing going on. Like mm -hmm. the, the, the new oak barrels are pretty, vanilla rich yeah there's a bit of a like and a bit of a like a dry tartness kind of even on yeah. the nose like some interesting things going on with this whiskey which i think look quite malty and it has that like um um plummy yeah. plummy that i get from scotches a lot of times which is like For the sure. malted barley right so okay should we taste it let's taste it yeah Here let's we go. do it Do you know what I'll say? And this is just kind of in their lineup so far. Their their strength that they've been using is seems to be perfect for every bottling. Yeah. You know, like this isn't too overpowering at forty six percent. Yeah. They had their forty two percent bourbon. Uh, yeah. Bourbon, which was a relatively new spirit, and you mentioned this actually. Yeah. And like, if it was any higher, like a high cast strength, yeah. it would have burnt out well, your palate compared yeah, to and for. for the spice that's going on in the bottle. Well, right? and that's the nice thing is like sometimes these um, younger or craft distilled spirits, they try and make them, um, I guess, marketable by making them cast strength. Right. Totally. Um, which is totally the wrong way to go because if you have a bit of a younger spirit and then you're doing it in like new oak and whatnot, or like there's already a lot happening there. Yeah. And then you just dial up the strength and it just makes it Dials so up the spice hot and, and spicy yeah. and like it's like unpalatable and what they've done here is like they've taken it to the point where you're getting mouth feel and mouth presence exactly. out of it yeah. but it's not burning your palate out like at 50 percent, as soon as you get to 50 percent, it's getting hot right hot. like yeah. So at 46%, I think that's a nice spot because you feel it and you know it's there, but it's not like really like blasting your palate to the point where you're like, you're burnt out or you're cooked off. Well, and I think like it's important to, to notice we haven't even given a tasting note, yeah. <laughs> but that's okay because it's, it's one of those things where you realize the quality and that's what we're talking about. Like you yeah, get, they, they've kind of figured out the sweet spot. And I think that's important in new craft distilleries, yeah. especially. So onto the flavor. To me, it's it's um, it's got a maltiness to it, but it has like it has the right um, as we said, the, like that mouthfeel and palate. But it has like a softness to it. Yep. Uh, and a richness to it, and like so there's a definite good um, viscosity to it. There's. Like, I don't know, did it say what percentage of which uh, things were in there? Because there wasn't a I'm actually getting, like, like the what you get from the bourbon, it, it has a little bit more of almost a sour mash kind of vibe to it right. or something at the end. Yeah. Like, it, it's tingly, it's effervescent. Um, there's some nice, what was on the nose, like the vanillas and the all that. Kind of, you said almond extract. Like, it's yeah. kind of all intermingled together without being too overpowering in one way or the no, other. It's very, yeah. and it's it's nice and malty and rich. So, mm -hmm. um, this is another good one. Like, we're really happy to have uh, had the opportunity to taste through the Boulder Spirits line. Like, everything's been really exceptional so far, including yeah. this one. So, uh, so, it's a good time. So, thank you, you guys, for watching. Click like, subscribe. Uh, check out Boulder Spirits, of course. Yeah. And uh, we will see you for our final review yes of this beautiful looking pork cask yeah so, all right cheers cheers, cheers.